Hey guys, it's Dustin back again. Bringing you a video of the RODI supplies that I got. Um, if you guys are looking for RODI, I know there's a lot of people out there looking for stuff, a good supplier for the for the equipment. Uh, Buckeye Field Supply is actually right here in Cincinnati. Um, great prices. The guy there is incredibly knowledgeable. So if you're not sure of exactly what you need, Send him a picture of the unit that you have, let him know what you're seeing, and he'll tell you exactly what to get. Um, but anyway, outside of that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and take you through what I ordered, um, and then kind of show you the the actual RDI unit itself. So it's, you'll have to excuse me for just a second while I open this thing up. All right. This looks eerily familiar to a bulk reef order. All right, so Buckeye Field Supply again. BuckeyeField.com is where to get them. Uh, like I said, I don't know the guy personally. I'm not getting anything for the shout out for this guy. So um, this is. Definitely based on information that I've gotten from other people and the in the, you know, the limited interaction I've had with him. Uh, the only thing I didn't order was an RO membrane. Outside of that, this should be a replacement for everything that I have in my my RDI unit. If you already have one of these, it's a wrench. You'll need it to open up your uh, your canisters on your RDI unit. I bought my uh, RDI used, so I didn't have that. All right, so. Here is the one micron filter. It's a bulk, bulk reef supply, or sorry, Buckeye Field, Buckeye Field Supply. Uh, take a look here. Again, I'm not an expert at this stuff. That's essentially the biggest reason that I wanted to go to somebody that would help me out with what exactly what I needed. And uh, all I did was took a picture of what I had, let him know, you know, what kind of pressure I had coming in. Uh, to the house and he recommended what I needed to get um, but Anyway, here's this filter All right I Hate popcorn All right, so here is a mixed bed DI uh, yeah, Deionization resin uh, this should be color changing resin dump this in one of my canisters and uh replace what I've got in there. Got the second bag of the deionizing or deion yeah, deionization resin. Crap. Why oh, I can't say that all of a sudden. Um, but anyway, it, it gives you some information here on how to how to fill the cartridge, uh, exactly what you need to do. Uh, so I do like that uh, being somewhat of a a noob when it comes to RDI units. I think that's it. I have a four canister filter and then, or yeah, RODI system. Um, the only other thing in the bag is this little valve here. This is what blew up on me on my RODI unit. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you guys the RODI unit while we're down here. All right, so this is a closet downstairs in my basement. Um, got a supply line up here. I plumb that in, goes up the wall. Anyway, back before it was all finished off, I plumb that in like that. Got the feed line, comes down. It's got a uh, an inline meter on it, TDS meter. And you can see this valve right here is what I'm about to replace. All I need to do here, just so you guys know, if you do do this, you're gonna cut this side off, cut that side off, and then snap it right back together. It should be fine. Um, but anyway, guys, until next time, appreciate you guys watching. If you would already subscribed, uh, please do so. Hit the subscribe button. Uh, if you appreciate the video, like the content, it would be awesome if you could uh, throw me a like as well. Thanks for watching, guys.